Hi all and thanks for watching. In this video I just want to go over setting up your Mass Effect 1 with EMB and SweetFX. Now I recently had to update the EMB and SweetFX due to a Windows 10 update which made the old version incompatible with Windows 10. So I just want to go over this new setup. So the first thing that you want to do is download the files and I will leave a link under the video here should you want to add this to your game. Now you can get it at Nexus Mods or at ModDB. With ModDB you just want to click the download now. For Nexus Mods you just want to go to files and you want to click on the manual download under the EMB suite effects for Mass Effect 1. Now once you've downloaded those files then just open up the file there and you can close or minimize your browser here. Now depending on whether you have the Steam or the Origin version will determine how you open the game folder. And I'll start with the Steam version. Normally with Steam, you just have to open up your Steam, go to the game library, right click on the game, select properties, local files, and click the browse local files. And that should open up the game folder for you. I'll just show you here with the game that I have installed. So it's right click, properties, local files, and browse local files and that will open up the game folder for you. Now you can also do it through this PC by going to C Drive, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then you'll find your game folders listed there. As far as origin users, you'll also want to do it through this PC C Drive, Program Files, Origin Games, and you'll find your game folders listed there. And you just want to open up the Mass Effect and open up the Binaries folder. Now, once you've opened up the game folder in the Binaries folder, you just want to take the contents from the download and drag and drop them into the game folder. And that's basically it. You're all finished at that point. Leave the game folder open for a moment and start your game. Make sure that it's running correctly. If it's running correctly, you should see the EMB in the upper left at the game start. And you should be able to use the pause break in game to enable and disable the effects. Now, as far as troubleshooting if you start and you have some video issues or the game just won't launch then normally that's your D3D9 launcher and depending on your video card you may have to alter that and if that's the case just exit the game go back to the binaries folder here and the alt D3D9 folder now select one of the four here open the folder and copy the D3D9 DLL and you'll find that each one has one in it. Now these are because different video cards work differently so in some cases you do have to switch the D3D9 and after you copy it you just paste it into the binaries folder here over top of the existing one and then start your game again and make sure that it's running correctly with the alternative D3D9. If not, just switch between those four and one of the four should work for your video card depending on what card that is. Now as far as your Sweet Effects settings, if you want to make any settings changes, you don't actually use the Sweet Effects settings text here. You would go to the Sweet Effects Presets and there's the Sweet Effects settings text. It's the Mass Effect 1 settings text here. And you can make all your changes here 
or if you wanted to actually alter the settings file with a different preset file, then you would replace this preset file here. You would want to rename the new preset file to match the old name and rename this one to something like Mass Effect 1 settings old. Now I'll just go over um, a couple of things that you may want to look for with your game. Now if you happen to start the game and the game starts fine but the video looks extremely dark and saturated then exit the game and go to the Sweet Effects preset here. Open up the Mass Effect 1 settings text and under choose effects the first line the use SMAA switch that to zero save and close the file and start your game again and make sure that the light level and everything is correct. That normally is the cause of the darkness and oversaturation which happens with some video cards also. And so make that change and that will normally correct it. Now if there are any issues with the way that the game runs, it happens to be laggy or you get any FPS issues, you can also try this alteration. Go to the Mass Effect binaries and open the EMB series I and I. Now under the global here, the third line down, allow anti-alias, you would want to set that to zero and then save this file and start the game again. And that will normally correct any FPS or stutter issues you may have. Although myself, I haven't come across that issue. That's how we've corrected it with some other users. Okay, so that basically covers the install of the files and if you want to make any alterations or if you have any troubleshooting issues that you want to look at. Now normally just to finish up what I like to do is add my game exe to my clean mem program. Now if you're not familiar with clean mem I will leave a link to the actual setup video under this video so that you can set that up and install it in your system if you'd like to use that. Now if you have already set it up then you'll be familiar with this process and it's just a matter of copying that Mass Effect EXE name and then opening up your Clean Mem settings wizard and going to your only list clicking the plus and pasting that name in saying OK to add it to your list which is right there. Say next and finish and you're all set. You can now close everything up and just run your game normally and it should work fine. Now if there are any questions please let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to see more videos like this please leave a like and subscribe. Otherwise thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I'll talk to you again.